Hey guys, I'm really excited to announce today that we're going to be releasing all of the KiCad videos that were formerly part of the Contextual Electronics course to the public through YouTube. Now the course itself is not going away. Uh, Contextual Electronics is a two-part eight-week course, so two eight-week courses. The first course being about how to design a PCB and all of the you know stuff associated with that. And the second part of the course, the second session, is about how to actually build it and troubleshoot it and all that, all of the difficulties that come with that. So throughout the process, we used KiCad, right? KiCad was uh, allowed us to have everyone have access to it without paying licensing fees or anything like that. There weren't any size restrictions. Worked out really well. Fell in love with KiCad, and the course went great. We went through our first uh, six-month session of that. But at the end of it, I realized that two things were happening. One, uh, I noticed that people outside of the course were still using KiCad, and I'm very excited about the program. A lot of the members of the program were very excited about it, and we wanted to help the help out by releasing these videos to the world. The other is that KiCad is a rapidly changing tool. Uh, there's people actively developing it recently. CERN, the particle accelerator out of Switzerland, and in the lab there, started contributing as well. And it's a dynamic software environment that's been changing over time. And there's a lot of interesting things happening with it and will continue into the future. So, uh, not only are these videos important, and I think that they will help people out by you know showing a lot of the different aspects of the program, uh, this, this stuff's going to change over time as well. So I thought it was good to let this stuff out now while there is, uh, well, it's still relevant. And then as more videos come, or sorry, as more features come online, I'll make more videos both for the course and for the public at large. Another exciting thing, uh, as good as the program is and as much as I love the developers that are working on it, there's really no centralized place to talk about it, right? There's a Yahoo group, but saying Yahoo group is kind of self-explanatory, there's a mailing list basically and it's not the best way to do it. So what I also did is I set up KiCad.info. So this is going to be a place with step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how to build the software because a lot of this, the new features are require uh, you know actually building the software, finding the resources necessary, and then also most importantly there's a place to discuss KiCad. Finally there's a place to discuss KiCad. I, I know that the mailing list is another resource but I don't really like mailing lists personally. So this is a forum there. It's a discourse-based forum. I'm very excited about it. And uh, it's just meant to be a place for people to gather to talk about KiCad. So hopefully you'll go check that out. So coming up on Contextual Electronics' YouTube channel, you'll see there's lots and lots of KiCad-based videos coming out. Really a lot of them are kind of condensed chunks. And prior to this, they were all separated out by different stages, right? There's, you know, layout stuff. There's footprint building stuff, stuff like that. Uh, but these will all be just kind of available online, step-by-step -step tutorials on how to get from, for example, how to put a logo into the soak screen, right? That's a difficult process normally, but this kind of shows you all the way through. So if you have any questions, I can now pe tell people, head over to the forums at kicad.info, and you can check that out, and we can discuss the program and difficulties you're having, and you can discuss it with others as well. Uh, KiCad.info itself, the, the main site, will be about you know resources and uh, new developments that we find. And YouTube will be the rest of it. You'll be able to see you know updated uh, features and videos about how stuff works as new features roll out. And mostly we just want to be able to support the KiCad community as much as we've been supported by using this wonderful piece of software. So hopefully you're excited about it. We know we are, and thanks for watching.